the Waterford radio station. They're a great bunch. Very nice chaps. Very fond of them. And ladies. Uh, beat 102, 103. Yeah. Or as we say around here, bass. What are we going to do on Sunday? Bass. <laughs> And we we did our best to get on air. This we, happened over a panini yesterday. We went, could we get on it? Could, could the two of us manage to get on their breakfast show as two Cork lads who were looking for two Cork twins, or two Waterford twins, that they met on a night out? Would they? Of course they would. Yeah. Of course they would. We dangled the carrots oh. a bit. <laughs> Josh is running around like a maniac. What's going on there? Okay, we have somebody on the phone. Do we have a name here, Trish? Yes, Brendan. Brendan is on the phone. Brendan, good morning to you. Hi, how's it going? It's actually Brendan and Anthony here. My brother's with oh, me as well. Oh, two There's two E, and that's a crucial. That's a crucial part of this. Now we have about ninety seconds for you to explain. You, you're twins, and you're looking for somebody. Who are you looking for? Some. Uh, who are you looking for? Uh, we were in Waterford last Saturday, lads. We went down to to meet a fella to get a couple of tickets off him for the game on Sunday. Nice one. And uh, we met these two lovely local birds. Uh, one was called Jennifer, and the other one was called Elaine. Elaine, yeah. I know. That we met them. Like we had a great time with them. They gave us their number and everything. But I'm. I left the digit out of the number, like, for oh. rage. And, oh, oh, no. And, and they're two beautiful waterfall birds. She, they're like, you know, one of them, she was, she had long blonde hair. One of them worked in pennies, and the other one trains greyhounds with her old fella. <laughs> More dad trains greyhounds. Is that, yeah. well, she works there as well. She works in... Uh, yeah, that's the, well, that's the Greyhound Stadium. We'll, we'll stop short of some personal details, but essentially you're looking for... You're two twins from Cork, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, and, you, you and, can, and yeah. sometimes we finish each other's Sandwiches. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're looking for two twin sisters that you met in Waterford. Yeah, but like sometimes you don't know what you have until you miss it. Like, do you know what I mean? Because like, if we were going to talk, like if we had something to say to them again, what we'd probably say is, <laughs> Up the ribbon! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brendan. Uh, okay, <laughs> lovely stuff. Well, I don't know. We, we'll take that with a pinch of salt. All yeah. we know, there was two boys looking for two girls from Waterford. Whether they were or not, if you are twin sisters who are talking to twin brothers yeah. McCork, you can let us know. Maybe we Sounds can help too rehearsed, I'm thinking. Too many, watching too many videos of the O'Donovan brothers. Other oh, no, 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 no. Lads, lads, there are no twins. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gag. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, if you met two lads from Cork and your two twin sisters from Waterford, they must all be three foot tall on that radio station because that went right over their heads. <laughs> the KC Show featuring Ross Brown, weekdays six to nine a.m. Calls ninety six FM.